Hey, what's up? And welcome to Hack My Growth. In this episode, we're going to be talking about some of the new features that have come on board over at HubSpot. Are you looking to grow your business, but you're not sure where to start? That's where we come in. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If this is your first time watching, or maybe you've been watching a while and you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do so now. We would love to have you join our community. And don't forget to turn on alerts. That way you know each and every time new content is posted on our channel. So uh, a couple years ago, this guy right here, me, uh, I created a video called, What Does HubSpot Actually Do? And a number of you have watched that video. Uh, a number of people have reached out, had questions about the video. Uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of really cool conversations have started because of it. Well, the reality is HubSpot has really grown over those last couple years and they've added a number of new features to help both small businesses as well as enterprise businesses get more out of their marketing suite, which is really more than a marketing suite now, uh, and also allow them to do some pretty cool things. So in this video, we're gonna talk about some of the updates that have come on board and some of the easier ways for you to use HubSpot and really get involved with the tool uh, for little or no money at all, honestly. They've really opened up a lot of the cool features over on the freemium side of it as well. All right, so let's get started. All right, so welcome to the new and improved HubSpot. Uh, they have added a number of features to their website over the last couple of years, a number of new tools and, and inside of their software suites. Uh, so we're gonna give a, a brief overview of all of these tools and uh, really how you can best get started. So if we go here, the software, the, the one thing that's gonna connect everything together is the free CRM. And this was the sales tool that they uh, been building for a long time. They really took it off of their contact record. It's been a part of the tool forever even though it's been one of those tools that they didn't necessarily uh, start with like promoting. This is uh, the contacts, the list, the things that you would normally do with your records, your customer records. Um, this is a great tool for small businesses or somebody who's never used a CRM before, who wants to get started. Now the coolest part is it also now comes with free email marketing. Some of you might know that MailChimp has expanded their offering. You know, they're trying to be more than just a mail tool and really move into marketing automation and landing pages and all that. Um, well, HubSpot's been doing the marketing stuff really well, and now they're giving free email on top of that. So if you're on MailChimp, I highly would recommend you switching over to, to HubSpot. Uh, the, the capabilities are, are very, very good on the email side, but you're going to get the CRM uh, and allow you to hook up to a couple of other cool tools here as well. What you're going to notice underneath the CRM are the Marketing Hub, Sales Hub, and Service Hub. Um, these are the three kind of other offerings in what HubSpot is calling the flywheel, uh, which is connected here with CRM, and then they've got these tools surrounding it and supporting it. So you've got stuff for your marketing, you've got stuff for your sales growth and, and your sales team, as well as everything you're going to need for customer service and ticketing and things of that nature. So let's look at each one of these hubs. Like I said, uh, we'll start here with um, the CRM and then we'll go into each one. So. The CRM is really designed for you to keep track of your customers. It's a customer relationship management tool. You can manage your pipelines. It, it really allows you to stay organized. If you're using a, an Excel sheet or maybe a customer list right now, you know that it can be very difficult to keep organized and to follow up. Now what's cool about this is you can have all of your contacts here. You can manage your pipelines, which goes along with kind of the sales tools of it. It does integrate with tools like Gmail or Microsoft Office, uh, which allows you to track all the emails that you have with a, with a customer or a prospect right from your Gmail account, and allows you to see all your contacts in one place. And this is really one of my favorite things. It allows you to see everything, like the calls that you've had, the meetings that you've scheduled, things of that nature. Uh, you can even do things like you know chat bots, um, which is a live chat tool. Like right over here, you see they've got their bot going. But you can actually man this and chat live with people on your site. This is very helpful in certain industries. It's not necessarily something that's going to be needed in every business, um, but it can be very helpful to have that real-time support. Now, the thing with chatbots is you always got to have somebody to answer it unless you want the bot to take care of it for you. So this allows you to then connect everything else that you're doing. The CRM allows you to connect it into the other hubs. This is kind of the, uh, the foundation for what you're going to be doing. And like I said, now it comes with free email marketing. So if you're just testing CRMs, sign up and test it out. If you don't like it, you can just cancel it and move forward and try something different. The reality is it's going to allow you to keep things organized. This is the tool that I came to first. I've been running my business on HubSpot since 2015. 
it is not a magical tool, but it is a tool that has helped me grow and has helped me make smarter decisions. Now what the marketing hub is going to do is it's going to help you market to that list, right? So the people that you have in your CRM, this is gonna allow you to engage with them, uh, attract them to your website, convert them into a lead. Uh, the marketing tool has got some cool stuff. Uh, so it's got different strategies, different features, like it's got a content management system. You can build a website, a blog on it. You can run your ads off it. You can do search engine optimization, run your social media marketing. It's got tools to convert leads. So this is where you can build landing pages and forms and pop-up call to actions. Like, you know, if I go to leave a page, they'll say, oh, wait a second, you know, don't you wanna, don't you wanna do this? Um, it, it's, it's a great tool for that uh, to, to do lead management. And then it gives you some analytics. It's gonna help you close deals. Uh, so again, now you're gonna be able to tie your marketing into your sales efforts and do some of that closed loop reporting. And then finally, it's gonna help you delight customers, which is something that we're always about when we're talking about inbound, is turning customers into advocates. And this, you can do this through your automation and making sure that customers have a timely emails. You know, we, we have different automation. We have them for leads. We have them for people who are MQL, SQL, but we also have automation for our current customers or our blog subscribers where we continually send them good information and quality information. It keeps them engaged at a very, uh, at a very deep level and building that relationship with our company. The next uh, tool that they have is uh, the sales hub. So marketing is gonna handle your marketing opportunity, sales is gonna handle everything in sales. And really where this is gonna help you is do like sequencing, which is one-to-one -one automation. So workflow would be one-to-many where you're doing bulk automation. Sequencing is, is like, hey, I'm talking to this one person, I wanna make sure that I follow up with them. You can actually build out those inside of your workflow. Uh, it's also going to help you uncover leads. You can do things like uh, lead scoring or uh, have your prospecting list. So you're going to be able to see the companies that have come to your site that maybe not have converted. So maybe you had that cool uh, conversation with one of the one of your uh, you know your prospects, and you want to know if they visited your site. Well, you can you can do that a lot with you know the tool they have, and it's called Prospects, which is a reverse IP lookup. Um, you can get connected, you know, close deals. I mean, I highly recommend you kind of taking some time looking these over yourself and seeing the ones that make the most sense for you. Um, one of the things that's pretty cool too is not just email tracking, but actually call tracking. You can do that in HubSpot. A lot of people don't know that. You can actually hook up your phone and do call tracking for free. So you can call your lead straight from your browser, record that, and connect it to the record. So you always have a copy of that call. Uh, this can be really helpful, one, for training purposes to see how you can do better, but also in, in case you have that and you're like, what did I say or what did they actually say? You can go back and listen to that, take notes on it. You know, sometimes it's hard to do that in real time. So call tracking allows you to just be yourself and then go back and, and review the conversation later. Service Hubs, one of the newer tools, it's been out for a little bit with HubSpot, but this is gonna help you turn customers into promoters, right? This is gonna allow you to do ticket systems uh, where you, people can go to your site and have service tickets. Uh, it can allow your customer team to, to really solve those problems. Uh, it's a pretty cool tool, and you can also build a, like a knowledge um, knowledge hub on your site, like a help desk. You can do shared inboxes for uh, multiple team players who are in your service center. This is a this is a really cool new tool to really help take your company to another level. And I think this is really great for small businesses. So people who are um, you know maybe they're a smaller HVAC company or they're a local business who who needs to take in tickets and, and you can do that with HubSpot without having to have this expensive system. What's cool is that all your records are stored together in the CRM, where it's kind of the hub, hub and spoke. You know everything that you really needs here, and then it kind of branches out into the marketing tools, into the to the sales hub, into the service hub. Now another cool thing that HubSpot has done is opened all of these up that to uh, to to freemium. Right, and so you can get started for free. You can get the CRM, contract management, you can do free marketing tools, you can do your free sales tools, and your free servicing tools. And these are all the features they have. And then as you grow and you need more features, HubSpot will grow with you. And they've got great bundles that you can create now that you know start as low as $50 a month and moving up from there. They kind of grow with you. Um, there's a lot more that HubSpot can do today. It's not just your marketing tool, it's your sales tool. It's really a tool you can run your entire business on. So if you've got any more questions about the new tools in HubSpot, this is something we're gonna talk a little bit more about over the next couple months for sure. But if you've got something specific, you'd love to see us do a video on it, please comment below. We would love to continue the conversation with you. And until next time, happy marketing.